day, ladies and gentlemen, um, for all those in London that don't know what happens to the white man when he comes to a P. Diddy party. This is what happens to the white man. Uh, it's so unfortunate. You gotta pull back though, so they can see. That's great, come on, move. Matt, move out the way. You're still alive. Look at that. Look at, look, what you get a drink out his head. And that's, and that's James from Simeon Mobile Disco. He is an actual D DJ. I'm supposed to pass out, but when they come to one of my parties, this is what happens to him. I put him to sleep. Next day, right? Yeah, put the drink on his head. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Since Sean P. Diddy Combs has been taken into federal custody and charged with sex trafficking, some celebs have been vocal about the things that have came out in the indictment. Rapper Ice Cube recently did an interview with Patrick Bet Davis on the PBD podcast, where he was asked about his opinion about Sean Diddy Combs and the federal charges he's facing. Are you uh, surprised at what, what things are coming out with Diddy at all? Or are you like, you have no idea, it's none of my business, you'll live long. <laughs> kind of like the mindset. I, I'm, um, I mean, surprised. How could you be surprised with anything that happens in hip hop? You know, it's hip hop is the Wild West, so. You're going to have the good, you're going to have the bad, you're going to have the ugly. You think he's being targeted or some of the stuff he's got, you know, there's credibility on what they're coming after him with the tapes and the feds and rating his Miami home, his LA home? Uh, I believe he's being targeted. You believe he's being targeted? Yeah. He, I believe, <clears throat> you know, somebody, you know, has the power to pull the trigger to make, you know, this stuff, this domino effect happen. <laughs> so you, th you think he's being targeted? You know, I don't, I don't know enough to even be able to, to uh, be specific on any of this stuff. It's just all speculation. I just know he was cool up until a point and then this, this stuff started happening. So I, I believe somebody, you know, like I said, uh, said, yo, he's our new guy we on this year or whatever. Recently, TMZ ran up on Wu-Tang rapper Method Man where they asked him, is this the end of hip hop as we know since Mogul Diddy has been arrested and indicted by the feds? This is what he had to say. And that this is like the end of hip hop as we know it. How? You know, so I'm just asking your opinion on that. Do you agree with that statement? Do you feel like, you know, some people being shown in a different light, is that ruining the way we are going to see hip hop going forward or like the culture? I don't think that it has anything to do with hip hop. What are we talking about here, really? Like, well, as far as I mean, I don't want to like just go straight to it, but you know, like everything with Diddy, people are saying it's kind of the end of, of hip hop at that era. Okay. Has nothing to do with hip hop at all. So um, I don't see the correlation whatsoever. Okay. If we're talking about creative and music and stuff like that, there's people still listening to R. Kelly. You know what I'm talking about? So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer that. But I don't think it has anything to do with hip hop. So what Recently, basketball star LeBron James chimed in on Diddy getting indicted by the feds. Braun wrote in an Instagram post saying, It's crazy, I was bumping to MO money problem earlier today in the car and I had a weird feeling today was the day the feds will catch Diddy. LeBron catched backlash from the fans because he praised Diddy during the pandemic on Instagram for his elaborate parties. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so... Yeah, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. 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 That's the, uh... Comedian Lunell has always expressed her distaste for Diddy ever since the Cassie lawsuit back in 2023. Lunell is seen here putting devil horns on Diddy head in a poster. Lunell recently spoke out about Diddy on her Instagram page. This Diddy sh First of all, y'all will believe when we say that black are the most disrespected, underserved, underbelieved women in society. You can be, if, if, if Diddy had a smack J-Lo like that and drug her down the hallway, he'd have been in jail eight years ago. If he did that to a snow bunny, which is a white with blonde hair and blue eyes, yes, that's the term we use sometimes. I said what I said. If Diddy had done that to a snow bunny, he'd be up under the jail. But men can do anything they want to black. Part of it, and women have been getting their asses for years. Not just black. There's a bunch of white out there too. They they serial ass. Latinos, Asians. There's men, women. Men on women. 
women, regular women, stud brown women, men be women. The fact that we in each other on TV don't help things, ladies. The fact that you support shows where women fight don't. In a recent interview with Art of Dialogue, Diddy's former bodyguard Big Jean Deal was asked about Usher's situation with Diddy, back when Usher connected with the mogul and trained by him as a young talented teen just coming into the industry. It's in other people's platforms, but he got on Shay Shay and he mentioned how great and how good Puff taught him and everything. You know what I'm saying? About the business, right? I know and people know that was around that in that time that Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Now I let Usher explain that to y'all. I let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say a man that groomed you, you gonna give him a pass. Bro, you know I know. Let me, re let, let me reframe you on something Remember Usher? We was at the Swiss Hotel. Puff was had Kim in the room. Had one of Keith Sweat's baby mothers in the in in the uh the big room outside the master bedroom. He came outside in his robe. He came outside in his robe. She gave him a fellatio right there. His back was turned to me. She gave him a fellatio. You knocked on the door. Remember when Usher was interviewed by radio host Howard Stern, where he spoke about his experience with Diddy, living with him at the age 14, just coming into the industry. Let's listen what Usher had to say. Now, would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> some Flavor Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and ordered like nonstop, right? No, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge in understanding what I was even looking at it was it was pretty wild was, so nobody tried to you know some woman didn't come along I didn't say that okay I, I didn't say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place uh-huh and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh -huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there Biggie Smalls was there Lil Kim Craig Mack all know, these people all are these, hanging around all, yeah man Faith Evans Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blige, they know nothing about this shit. Oh, <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat, or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. Yeah. I actually stayed up longer than them. And, <laughs> and what, <laughs> do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah, uh -huh. I had like you know what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Fourteen years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> See. Recently community activist and Pan-African, Dr. Umar Johnson took to his Instagram to speak on Diddy's federal indictment. Sean Puffy Combs' federal charges have little if anything to do with domestic abuse or pedophilia. His major sex crime federally is he's being accused of transporting women across state lines to engage in sex what we call prostitution not casey not the freak offs not underage girls but prostitution why am i bringing this up because i don't support prostitution either i do not support men paying for the sugar box i do not support black women having to sexually exploit their sugar box in order to pay their bills with that being said Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. It is the sexual trafficking that Sean Puffy Combs is being accused of. Not domestic abuse, not freak offs, not stomping out Cassie not engaging in sex with underage women. It is interstate sexual trafficking. That is the charge. Why am I bringing this up? 
I'm bringing this up. Peace, God. Because when I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence of Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, I have yet to hear anybody give me a specific piece of interstate sex trafficking evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it for the low political IQ Negroes. I'm going to say it for the average political IQ Negroes. And I'm going to say it for the high IQ Negroes. I haven't seen or heard a single piece of evidence against Sean Puffy Gomes. I ain't read it in the New York Times. I ain't read it in the Philadelphia Inquirer. I ain't heard it on CNN. I ain't seen it on headline news. Where is the evidence that Sean Puffy Combs engaged in interstate sex trafficking? I keep hearing about Cassie when I turn on the news. Why are we hearing about Cassie when Cassie has nothing to do with the federal indictment? I don't think any black man should have a thousand bottles of baby oil. I don't think any black man needs a thousand bottles of baby oil. But I haven't seen anywhere in federal law where owning a thousand bottles of baby oil is a federal crime. Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? Do you understand and overstand and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the premier pan-Africanist on the planet is saying to you right now? Baby oil is not a federal crime. Stomping out Cassie, he was not charged with a crime. The freak-offs are not crimes. So why do we keep hearing about Cassie? Why do we keep hearing about baby oil? Why do we keep hearing about freak-offs? Where are the federal charges and why are the charges being sealed? Why did the feds seal the charges against Sean Puffy Combs? I'm going to tell you one reason why the feds sealed the charges against Sean Puffy Combs. One of the biggest reasons they sealed the charges against Sean Puffy Combs is because the evidence is probably weak. The evidence is probably weak. And because the evidence is probably weak that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking, and because the evidence is probably weak that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking, they had to seal the charges. They had to hide the charges from you and I. They had to hide the charges from you and I long enough for the public execution to be carried out. Recently, 90s R&B singer Albie Shore took to his Instagram with a cryptic message after Diddy was arrested and indicted by the feds. He writes, before coma, after coma, the math is finally math in. There's more 2012 to 2024. Hey, Redman is in the building. If you got pain, you suffer from anxiety, go get your CBD smokes, CBD gummies, and CBD oils at nightanddaycbdhub.com.